Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer, running sweater and tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can easily copy color grading of skin tones from one image and paste it to another. And later on, how you can easily save that color grading as a preset for future purposes. And if at all this is always what you want to watch, or if at all you have always wanted such a tutorial, I request that you hit the like button on this video because it is going to help YouTube push and recommend this video to many people out there so just smash the like button on this video so this is the image we want to paste the color grading on so what we want to do first of all we want to drag in our reference image or the image from which we are going to be copying the color grading and simply place it there and simply hit enter to place it right above there so after doing that and what we want to do we're just going to come to the background layer and simply select it and simply come to the adjustment layer right here and come and create a curves adjustment layer between the original image that we want to color grade and also should be between the image from which we are going to be copying the color grading. So after you have done that, the next thing we are going to do, you are just going to simply come to the curves adjustment layer right here and make sure that the icon has been selected. So make sure the icon has been selected and not the layer mask. So after we have done that, we are just going to come to the eyedropper tools and you can see that we have three eyedropper tools right here so with these eyedropper tools you can select all sample colors from the highlights the midtones and the shadows and for this case make sure that in the eyedropper tool make sure the sample size is 5 by 5 average so you come and simply double click on this eyedropper tool the one which is going to be sampling from the brightest areas of the skin tone so simply double click on it and it's going to open up the color picker tool. So with this done, simply look for the brightest area from the image you want to copy the color grading. And simply left click on that area and it's going to sample that color and come and simply hit OK. And when it brings up this dialog box, simply hit no because we don't want to save the new target colors as a default. So just come and simply hit no. And after you have done that, you're just going to come to the image that you want to paste the color grading on and simply left click on the area that has a highlight in the skin tone area. Don't choose a white area, choose a brightest area that falls within the skin tone. So after you have done this, you're just going to do the same for the mid-tones and simply come to the middle eyedropper tool, double click and come and you choose an area that has midtones from the reference image so just come and sample and you can see it has chosen this area so yeah we are also going to come to the image that we want color grade and simply click on the area that we feel should be having midtones so remember we we sampled right here and make sure you come and hit ok and hit no then you come to the image that you want color grade and simply come and single click so this is a very close look so since we want to add a little bit more of the contrast to this very image we are just going to come and drag in the black so that the images can look close so this looks okay so the image has now been color graded and now we want to save this color grading as a preset so after copying the colors from this image you're just going to come right here and simply delete the image from which we copy the color grading so this is the image that is going to be containing or it is the layer that is going to be containing the color grading so if at all you want to save this color grading as a preset you can as well enhance or fine tune this preset by simply coming and creating a black and white adjustment layer and changing it to the blend mode of multiply and simply dropping down the opacity and that is going to make the skin look a little bit are richer and you could also come to the hue and saturation adjustment layer and come and target the reds and simply take down the lightness and this is going to make the image look a little bit better so you can see a quick before and after for the color grading so remember we have just copied the color grading from a different image then we want to save these adjustments as a lot or as a preset to be applied to future images so what i'm going to do i'm just going to come right here to file and i'm going to come to export and come to color lookup tables so simply select color lookup tables 
But what you have to take into consideration, don't group these or don't put these layers for the color grading in a group. You shouldn't do that because your preset or your light is not going to be saved the right way. So just make sure that you don't do that. So you're going to come to the color lookup tables and add a description for your preset and you can even add copyright information for your light. Then make sure you select the grid point to 32 and medium selected and save it as a cube because this loads faster in Photoshop. So make sure cube is checked right here and simply hit OK. Then you can rename your LUT to whatever you want. So I'm just going to name it to tutorial LUT. I'm just going to save it on my desktop and simply hit save. So it is going to take a few seconds and it is now done saving. So I'm just going to show you this. It is done saving. So I'm just going to delete the color grading by hitting the delete key after selecting those la layers. And I'm just going to come to my adjustments. Then come to color lookup and I'm just going to come to load 3D LUT and simply click and choose a location where I saved my LUT. So for this case, I saved my LUT on my desktop. So I just come and select desktop and simply choose my LUT and simply hit open and it's going to apply the color grading. So you can see this is the before, after, before and after. You can see how nice the image has turned out to be and how better it has gotten to look. So this is how you can copy and save color grading of skin tones from an image and create a preset out of the copped skin tones or the colors from that image and apply it on future images. So this is it for this tutorial. And if I told you I've loved this, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If I told you're watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and see you yet. More amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.